What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game of here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock. Hope you're having a fantastic day. If you are, make sure to smack that like button. It would help me have an even more fantastic day as well. Hopefully, yeah, like I said, everything's going well. Let's do a team recap real quick. Let's jump into this because today we got a tough episode. We got two totems. So if you want to watch the heartbreak and gut wrenching action, you better stay here. We've got Cassandra, level 64, as we trained up our team with Dragon Pulse, Muddy Water, Sparkling Area, Core Enforcer. We got Joey with Low Sleep, Secret Power, Darkest Lariat, and Storm Throw. We have Sophie with Brutal Swing, Topsy Turvy, Dragon Claw, and Darkest Lariat. We got Nick with Photon Geyser, Moon Geyser Beam, Earth Power, and Amnesia. We have Vita, because it's going to Vita Sweep with Photon Geyser, Discharge, Moon Blast, and Waterfall. And we got Aaron, the Mega Mewtwo X with Psycho Cut, Cross Chop, Earthquake, and Aqua Tail. So, that is my team. And we're going to jump into this episode. Anyway, so do not forget, as you guys know, it is the 22nd of August. And two episodes of Genlock is going to go out today because I think I, I definitely missed Friday's episode. So I apologize for that. I was getting everything all set up for verses and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, we probably just went live. Probably more than likely just went live. Um, and had a great time. So hopefully you guys had a great time with me. But yeah, no, we got an interesting episode. So, of course, today we have two totems. Tomorrow we have a totem. Or tomorrow, yeah, because uh, episode goes out tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a totem. And we're almost done with the series. And don't forget, if you guys do did forget already, because I honestly am sure a lot of you guys did, um, our Genlock Marathon, which is a marathon that is dedicated for you guys to catch up on all of the amazing Genlock action. Will be on third Wednesday the 27th. Wednesday the 27th. Let me go ahead and check what time I work. I don't actually know. I was gonna give you an official time, but when I don't know when I work, it doesn't help. The 27th is Thursday. I'm an idiot. Okay, Wednesday the 27th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is when the marathon will begin, indubitably, and. Uh, as well as your first episodes and your other episodes of that will go out. But the, the, basically, what the Genlog Marathon is, is to catch up before the live finale, Friday the 28th. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'm assuming, I don't know what, I've, it'll probably be like a 5 p.m. timing. I'm just going to guess around then. Because, you know, Genlog, I am a guy who loves live finales. I love hanging out with you guys for the finale. There's nothing better. And, you know... Might as well do it live. So, live finale, 28th, around 5 p.m. We'll see you guys there. Hopefully, I'd very appreciate it. Um, it's actually really an amazing thing for me. It's like I totally went to the very top of Musharna, but that's okay. I definitely didn't do that on purpose. Um, but yeah, no, we're out here. We're just going to chill, have a great time. And honestly, it does mean a lot that we're going to just be out here. And if you guys love the series as much as I do, check it. Because, yeah, live finales can hang out with you guys, have the most fun. Um, and, yeah, no, it's just interesting. But, off of that note, today's episode, like, we did a lot. But, how have you all been this fine Saturday afternoon? Um, I've been well. Uh, you know, I have work in a couple hours. Um, not as of recording, but as of you, see, you seeing this. So that's a little unfortunate. But I got everything all set up for Versus and everything all set up for our other series. Cage Log will be a little bit on a postponage. Not much, because by the time you're seeing this, the only difference is that you're not getting your Saturday episode. Because Aaron's going to post his Wednesday episode and, on Wednesday. So you literally only miss one episode, or well, yeah, one episode. So it's not that big of a deal, really. But the biggest thing was, and the biggest reason we needed to do it is Aaron went on vacation, which is very amazing. I'm super happy that he was able to go on vacation and have a lot of fun. Um, and you know, we tried, we tried our best so that we could get recording before his vacation, and it just didn't really work out as planned. Um, a lot of it was because we had Google Drive issues. Because naturally, Google Drive wanted to get in the way of everything. Um, you know, Google Drive does that sometimes. So, like I said, so because of Google Drive being a butt nugget, um, we couldn't get it. And 
we feel bad, obviously, because Aaron and I both were like, uh, what are we going to do? How are we going to handle it? I'm like, don't worry. Enjoy your vacation. You deserve it. You've been amazing and you're wonderful. And and I told him this. Like, I'm not, I'm no, no hold bars. I'm like, yes, do we need to implement some stuff like so that, that doesn't happen again? Yeah, of course. Like, I don't want things like that to happen again in a professional series. But go have fun on your vacation because vacation is amazing. And I hope that they are having a great time. Um, because, you know, vacationing is always amazing. Especially during this critical time. Why do you have area lace, you little butt nugget? Um, but yeah, like, for example, like, I will be going on a little bit of a trip. Kind of a seclusion trip. So I can get away from the home, the house in general. Like, and it's just going to be me and my immediate family. And it's going to be a really fun vacation. And, like, but we are already getting everything prep prepped for that vacation. So that nothing falters so like i said we're all already improving like that's my mantra is always to keep improving that's where bombay john you're about to be stupid glad that you paid attention for once in your life um i still have no idea what to go into but i guess we go into this and hope that oh well this bug type too that's an annoying pokemon for my team i didn't realize how bad that is for my team but it is pretty bad um but yeah we're already trying to get everything prepped as best as we can and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying my collaborative partners. I talked about this before, but I feel like both of my collaborative partners are well-rounded. And what do I mean? Well, Aaron is somebody who I can sit and have like five hour conversations with, and it feels like it's been like 20 minutes. And nothing, nothing too crazy, but we can have this analytical talk and a lot of talk about like life and like he's real down to earth and it's nice you know it's nice to have that down to earth nitty gritty um person who just you can talk with and you can listen to at the same time and then beegers is very energetic he loves like you know just you can have fun he like I, I categorize, okay, so the way I categorize friendships is you've got your fun friends, which is the friends that you have fun, well, not, I'm trying to explain this without sounding terrible. So your fun friend is your friend where you can go out, go do things, have fun, and, you know, I guess your, fuck, there you go. Your fun friend is your friend that you can, you can totally go out with, like, and hang out with and just have a great time. And then your relationship friend, which is your friend that you can talk to about anything to, and like, is you the friend that friend that you can divulge information to, that friend that you know you can trust with your emotional uh, well-being, and you know, and you know that they're gonna listen, you know that everything's gonna be fine, and stuff like that. There we go. Now, not to say that you can't do either of those with the fun friend. Like, you can't be like that with a fun friend. And not to say that you can't go out and have, like, go out and do stuff with the relationship friend. It's just more of a mentality thing, you know? So, like, how they prefer to spend their time. Not necessarily them as a person. Like, if you're not the fun friend, it doesn't mean that you aren't fun. It just means that you can divulge. It's a lot easier for you guys to divulge into a conversation and have a phenomenal time. Um, and you can dig deep easier with the, that kind of a friend. And it, it, it is all the personality and I am an amic thing. And I would, but, you know, I would hope that I'd be a balanced kind of person. But I feel like I'm more of the relationship friend, to be fair. For most people, I'm more of the relationship friend. I'm that friend that, you know, I'm not necessarily going to go out and have a great time. If you want to go out and have a great time, will I? Of course. But I'm definitely a lot more of a listen Kind of a friend and i'll listen to your problems and i'll kind of try and help you work it out um and i think that's and but i like i said i also if i need to be a fun friend i can be a fun friend but everybody's different for everybody you know and that's the beautiful thing like and that's where is where the characteristical dynamics work so like and the, the issue is when you have like an undecided friend so a friend that doesn't know where they stand or where they want to stand. Um, I'm talking about a specific person. 
guys figure it out. Ha ha ra. Um, but where they don't know where they want to stand. Um, because they don't know where they want to stand, you don't know how to interact or hang out with them. And you feel like you're stepping on their toes no matter what. Because if you try and be the fun friend, then they don't want to be a fun friend. And they don't want to go out and do stuff. But then you try and be the relationship friend. And they don't dig deep with you at all. And like the whole point of the relationship friend, I'm not paying attention to the game. Oopsies! But the whole point of the relationship friend is that you both simultaneously dig deep. Like, because if one person digs deep, it's a one-sided friendship and it doesn't work. So, <laughs> oh, it's this thingy. But yeah, like honestly, like that's how I like view a lot of that stuff. And obviously everybody's a mixture of both. It just is dependent upon 8 billion different things. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of the personification of the friendships. And if you guys agree, let me know. If you guys don't, tell me your personification of your friendships. Because um, I'm interested. Let me know in the comment section below. Because that was very, that would be a very insightful comment question of the day. How do you view friendships? That That's an amazing comment question of the day, actually. Uh, so yeah, let me know. But yeah, no, that was an interesting... I actually came up with a pretty decent topic. Not gonna lie. I actually like that topic a lot. Uh, but yeah, ooh. I didn't even realize the Logan version was in this game. I forgot about this thing. I... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought Shadow Ball would have done nothing. Game lagged only because I moved it, just so you know. The game lagged because of me. Um, but yeah, being... Like I said, undecided is the hardest because, like, to get to mess with and hang out with. Because again, they don't know what they're doing. But yeah, so we're chilling. We're big chilling. We got We're gonna fight a to two totems today, as I said. I gotta change the tilt controls. I tried to do that off screen, but it doesn't let you until after you do your thing, and that's so much fun. So yeah, that was unfortunate. I was like, okay, let's get prepared for today's episode, and then the game was like, prepared. What is that? I'm just like, ugh. Like, you know, it won't let me be prepared for my own episode. But, you know, we're still gonna get everything all on target and stuff. It's just unfortunate that it didn't let us do it in a nice, orderly fashion, which I was hoping. But, we're doing it, we're chilling. I said that like three times this episode, but that's okay. Episode 37, it's a fun one. Uh, but yeah, we are close to be the end of the series, like I said. Uh, finale should be, like, the finale stream should be Wednesday the 26th, and that's exciting, right? Like, the finale, not the finale stream, excuse me, the, fin the uh, marathon. Um, and actually, I might actually, I can't get it scheduled yet, but, because if I get it scheduled now, it will just get dumped in everybody's live streams and everything. So I'm going to probably set it starting on, like, or, like, Wednesday when I wake up or whatever. I'll probably just set it. Um, to go live. That sounds like the most logical explanation. But I'll be there for the first couple of hours, um, uh, hanging out, chatting with y'all. Um, uh, I'm gonna have Nightbot. I hate Nightbot, but I'm gonna do it. I'm going to have Nightbot every, like, ten minutes or so. Be like, just so you know, this is actual video footage and not... I, like and not a live stream so that people aren't gonna be like why aren't you responding to my comments even though my channel is actually a really good channel and doesn't have that issue <laughs> which is oh it's a weight lifted off my shoulder but it's i know a lot of people like if they're if you're not talking to them if they're chatters will be like why aren't you talking it's like um but like the whole point of this is a catch-up marathon so that you guys can binge watch all of the Genlock episodes, and a lot of people will be like, well, it's not just playlists, and I'm like, yes, but I'm trying to revitalize this Pokemon community and change some things, and do things that have never been done before, hence literally me trying to figure out new kinds of series, do new things, and have just a genuine grand time, and I just healed when I just remembered, Lily heals you here! Ree! <laughs> that sucks. I just remembered that. Oh, that's a big re moment. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and fight this totem. This totem should not be that bad because it's level 55. So, like, this totem ain't bad. But the one after that's level 66. Hence why we trained to level 64 is because 66 is the totem. And then 
it'll scale pretty well because level 53 which is what our next like 6v6 battles are going to be like actually translate to level like 60 because it's five yeah it's level 60 they all translate to be level 60 and mid, a low to mid 60s so like it actually works out in our benefit just in a weird way also that's another masculine which i don't mind um but yeah like this totem is gonna be unfortunately pretty easy i hate to say it that way but it is unless it's like plus three everything like this is gonna be the moment where plus three everything's gonna be totally fine but yeah Kind of got to do what we had to do. That was a Mag Mordar. No, I was close. I was actually pretty darn close. I'm not even going to lie. I'm very impressed with myself on that one. That definitely was pretty good. Um, although an Electro type is pretty bad for me. Um, I'm going to go to Nick, though, because Nick can handle it with its Earth power. It's Earth shattering, Earth defying powers. Um, but yeah. Oh. King Shield, perfect. Perfect. That was amazing. Okay, amusing. Amusing is a word now, guys. Did you know that? What does amusing mean? Um, it's amusing and amazing all at once. Not to make sense at all, but whatever. You know what? It's okay. It didn't work at all, but we tried, and that's what matters. Um, but yeah, okay. So to fight, and I'm gonna go ahead and put somebody has topsy turvy. Who is it? It's Sophie. <laughs> um, I'm like somebody has something that can wreck this totem. Like, and it's Sophie. Sophie has the ability to wreck the totem. Although, it will create a 2v1 situation. I guess I didn't think about that. But still, this could be very useful. Sound. That cry is literally so sound. Okay. Oh! It's a Reggie Rock. Okay! It's actually a good totem. It Special defense rose sharply. That's fine, actually. Because now we can counteract that if we wanted to. Which, to be fair, is not even a bad play. But we're physical, so I'm just gonna hit it on the physical side. Because that kind of does seem like the much better. Oh my god, you have stone in. Oh my god. That did a ton. I mean, I know Sophie's not and whatsoever, but that's a yikes. Uh, uh, Joey, get your butt out here right now. Yeah, hello? That almost one shot. I mean, yeah, it's a Reggie Rock, but still. Mega Horn? Okay, that does nothing. We're fine there. Stone Edge should also do... Oh my god, Flare Blitz? What is this move set? Oh, I thought I thought it's only a special defense went up. Reggie Rock is this powerful? There's absolutely no way that Reggie Rock is this powerful on a normal basis. I am 11 levels ahead of this thing, and it's just saying. Yeah, you know, remember that time when... And I'm like, what? Like, bruh. We're gonna have to heal stall, and I don't like doing that, but it's something I have to do. Um, Blizzard. Hit again, because naturally it did. It literally has two low accuracy moves, and hit them both, mind you. It hit them both. It didn't get, it like, it was like, why, how, and what? I'm turning this down because holy crap, all of that, man. This is a little louder than I was hoping. Um, and I'm talking a little quieter than I was hoping. I don't know why, but it's like not doing what it's supposed to. But that's okay, I guess. In this situation, it's not even that bad because I'm not P 
peeking the mic. Surprise, we're actually doing good in terms of that. Um, but I really hope that this video's mixing is a lot better because um, I care about the mixing of my videos. And if it's not mixed correctly, it feels really weird. Um, so I'll definitely check the mixing at the end of this recording. Make sure that it mixed just fine. Like I said, it should. But definitely something I need to double check on and make sure of. Um, everybody's gaining some experience. We're totally fine. Cassandra's level 65. Let's go, Cassandra. Um, and now we just kind of one-shot this. Nice, it missed. That was the perfect miss. Okay. Now we're going to storm throw and oko this. Don't have innards out. Because if this thing has innards out, Joey dies. This thing's definitely got more than 172 HP. Nice. It didn't have innards out. Good. That could, like I said, that could have proved to be terrible. But it wasn't. So Joey at 249 HP now. Joey's about to have 300 HP. That's insanity. Um, how much HP some of these mons are about to have. It's just like, uh, what now? Like, how much HP do you have? Uh, now, we are going to heal up because we don't get healed. We don't have a fight that we have to tend to. I think we just have the cutscene, but let me, I guess I'm going to go over there and double check anyway. But, what I'm thinking about is that we might be able to cut and do a cut until I go into the wormhole. I think that might be our, that, that might be the play. Because I'm going to test out the wormhole and I'm, instead of doing the tilty stuff, and I know that's a ter like could be a terrible idea, but like, if like I remember getting it on um, my first Ultra Moon playthrough, and I was so confused. I was like, "What happened? Like, why did that actually work?" And it's just like, "Oh, well, cause I thought I actually thought that it was meant to happen. I thought that it was." literally scrapped it to happen and then in the month lock I realized it wasn't and I was just like wait what it's actually not scripted to happen and it's just like oh so yeah so I realized that a little later than I would have loved to admit <laughs> uh, but I'm still gonna be a relentless butt nugget and be like yeah we're gonna try this even though we know it's not scripted um, it also gives me an opportunity to get water let's be real that's the real reason why I'm testing it um, and I'm sure you don't want to sit through me just not being on screen for two minutes while I get water. Um, but yeah, like, I'm going to get water after Lily talks for eight million years. And we're going to go ahead and fight Ultra Necrozma. Who's a, hopefully a legendary. Hopefully. If it's not, then it's not, but... Wouldn't it be awesome if it was? Two legendary totems, one episode? Like, that's... That's a win. Yes, do you wanna... Will you play the moon flute story device? I don't know. Will I? Will I make progression in the story? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we shouldn't make progression in the story. That might be, like, the best. Low-key, the best idea ever. But, where... Where am I water bottle? Bruh. Okay, I guess I'll do this. Oh, I found it. I'm still going to use this water bottle because it's got more in it. But if I get copyrighted for the song because I was not close enough to the water bottle, I'm going to be m mad angry. I'm going to be mad angry, mad angry, mad angry, mad angry. I don't know. I don't know where my like mic is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be like up here? That seems really, really odd and really, really like close to my mouth. I don't like that. I actually don't like that at all. I like it being pushed out. I don't care if I have to project my voice a little louder because I do like it pushed out way more. Like, I don't know. If that means I have to get a different mic, 
is not compatible with that kind of way. And it's just like, I don't care. As much as I love you guys, I'm not spending another hundred dollars on a mic until it becomes a business expense. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Jo I'm joking, but serious at the same time. Like, it's about to become a. It can actually become a business expense now because I have to do different tax forms here soon. But I don't like. But the whole reason of me not being monetized is that I wanted to connect with my audience and be better for my audience. So therefore. The way to do that is to literally connect and have a good time with you guys. And speaking of connecting and having a good time, you can connect with us on Discord using exclamation point Discord in the chat. I'm in the chat of uh, the, you know, live chat. But also, I don't know if there's a link in the description. Never mind. I, I think there's a link in the description, but don't quote me on it. Luna is a beautiful Pokemon, and there's Margatines. Although I don't think the cutscenes are as crazy. Oh, never mind. This does happen here. Okay. Why you don't activate the wormhole? Necrozma, the destruction of death. Do we actually fight this thing now? I don't think we do. My brain says we don't. My Yeah, I was gonna say my brain thinks they both fight off and then it fuses and goes back. But I'm not 100% sure. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, okay. That's, yep. And it's fused. Are <laughs> you here? That's, I see, because I don't. Because I haven't played these games, like, it's weird. Because my brain just, because I haven't had the headphones. It's so interesting with the headphones and stuff. But the, oh, I hate that Ultra Beast. That Ultra Beast deserves to die in a hole. Don't even quote. You can even quote me on that. This Ultra Beast deserves to die in a hole. I hate that Ultra Beast so much. It is so tanky. But, you know, it's not really good at competitive. So I don't really mind it too much. It's just annoying. It's just reckless and annoying, to be fair. But, you know, Tabu Coco definitely handles it 100%. It's definitely not going to get one shot by a gyro ball or anything. Cough, 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 cough. It's not like Hollow's quad weak to it. Quad, cough, 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 cough. Or quad resist. You know what I mean. That Hollow is quad effective against it. Cough, cough, cough. Like, ugh. Like, and even though, like, even Olivia, too. Like, Olivia actually gets bodied by this. Like, each, I don't know if that was the point of the matter, was that they would get all bodied by the typing, except for freaking Hapu, because Hapu's got to be the legendary butt face. But, like, they literally gave everybody hard counters to it themselves, besides Hapu. And it's just, like... If that's supposed to be foreshad- It's a sick! Oh, what? <laughs> it's haunting me! This- <laughs> Not that will haunt my soul! Oh my god! Okay, I think this is actually designed to be our legendary. Which is hilarious to me! Because- <laughs> I think- <laughs> Anymore. Oh my god! This is I am out of commission. <laughs> Cause I 
<laughs> that is definitely supposed to be our legendary. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, of course it has to be. <laughs> no, no, no. Considering what has happened on the channel the last couple of this months, the fact that it's not <laughs> it's just, it's just crazy. Oh my god. Okay, before I die, let's go ahead. Oh, you can't catch the crossbow. Okay. Good. Kind of. <laughs> oh, <God. This> thing. <laughs> I'm literally crying because I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> Why is this Pokemon just... That Pokemon just looks at me in my life all day, every day. It's like you ta I talked about not wanting to have a bird as a pet. And it's just like, I'm going to haunt you forever. And it's just like... But it's because I don't, because I want to take care of an animal if I have it. Oh my god. Oh. That's a load. Oh, if I did an intro moment. If only I did intro moments. I feel like I should start doing intro moments, but I just terrible at them. And I just need, I need to work on them and get better with them. 100%. But... <laughs> I just don't know how to do all those crazy fun effects, but I'll learn for sure. Because like I said, an intro moment, even though, even a light intro moment, I don't know. Would you guys like that? I mean, I feel like that'd be terrible for Sogalock, though, because Sogalock isn't meant to be a long series. So, like, padding those extra 30 seconds gives me absolutely no time to do anything. And you'll just catch the funny moment 90% of the time because it's a 15-minute video. I don't know. Oh, I'm dying, though. That's all I know. It's definitely the thumbnail. <laughs> Me literally crying because it's so freaking funny. <laughs> um, and the best way to get that is a genuine, like, photo of that. So, like, gosh. Oh, okay. God. I can't stop. Okay, I can't stop thinking of the freaking hilariousness. You have to land into a white white warp hole. Now I'm gonna hope that it lands into the right spot. Um unless I can actually tilt control it, which I highly doubt I could. But if I do, though, that's cool. Like, if I can tilt control it, I will tilt control it. Like, yeah, I still, I probably can't tilt control it, but. We'll see. If I can't, I'll go out and get a drink of water. Yep, no, I have absolutely, I have no. I have no method of control here. Yep, so since I have no method of control, I'm gonna go get water and see if I land in the right spot. <clears throat> and if you see me land in the right spot with a without me being in there, then you know that I did it. Just doing nothing. But the likelihood is very slim. Unless I literally am gonna get it. No way. There's no way I get this, right? Hold on. Oh, uh, get the red. That's, is that a, no, that's a yellow warp, warp hole with a white ring, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And technically. Wait, well, I'll say that ride Pokemon aren't helpful here. 
Probably. Yep. So I guess... Wait, can I just go back? Using the wormhole? Yes. Haha. -ha. I can. Okay. So I gotta go do the fix. Sadly. I can't go get water because I took my sweet, sweet time. So yeah, let me go do the fix real quick. And the fix, if you guys don't know where the fix is to do this, it's in... I can actually show you. Akala Island. You click here. And you go to the second floor. Um, going to the second floor, um, you'll see an Aether Foundation Grump. And... He'll be right there, and you can change it from that, from him. So you know, for next time, if you have to deal with this stuff. So, because unfortunately, I can't do it freaking... Oh, yeah, it's in here. It's in this room. I, I always go one ahead on accident. So, yeah, it's this room, this guy. And I cl you click circle fad. So that way... All my arrow keys will actually work. And then we'll fight Ultra Necrozma and end the episode. Um, I'll probably actually just genuinely... No, I probably wouldn't. I probably won't cut it out as much as I'm thinking about it. Yeah. You'll probably see it in the video just because it's kind of an interesting... Interesting thing not to cut. You know, you get, you got, you get a, a mini tutorial where somebody's not like, Oh, by the way, you do this, 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 this. Like, go exactly here. It's like... You actually see it in action. Would you like to borrow Sogaleo? Yes. Do I actually have to redo the entire cutscene stuff? Oh my god, you do. That's ridiculous. That's mucho ridiculous. But yeah, now I can see. Now I can do the thing that I'm supposed to do. Okay. I still am pretty bad at using the warp, warp hole, but... It's like the warp hole system does not work for me. Okay, it's a white one that I'm looking for. Red, no. Blue, so no go. Ah, I thought that was a warp hole. Blue, blue. And I think, it doesn't it's gravitational pull just get crazier as you go on? Okay, I might be blind. I might actually be blind here. Because I'm not seeing a white one. And that's kind of odd to me that I haven't... Crap! I have to be blind, right? I might I definitely don't feel like I passed one though. Like I don't actually think I did. That's weird. I'll go back in editing and see if I passed one or not, but I don't think I did. Unless I'm like oh everything is the same color and I'm color blind and I didn't know it. That's probably the actual answer, to be fair. Because I've got so much colorblindness in my family that I can totally see that I'm starting to go colorblind. Oh no, I definitely didn't see one like that. There's absolutely- that was clearly white. Yeah, okay. I'm like, no, okay, I'm not colorblind. I just went the entire way without burning one! Okay. Dude, imagine all the kids that got stuck on that section. Imagine Ryan getting stuck on that section. <laughs> oh, please! Uh, oh, that, you know what? I am, no. I'm half tempted. <laughs> I'm so half tempted to put that on Twitter. Oh, I don't think I need to. I think Ryan already knows you get stuck on that section. He probably is actually doing that in his live stream. To be fair. Because he's live today. Slash yesterday. But 
still, that was a, that was a roast. That was a heavy roasting. Um, what? Oh wait, no, I don't. Well, I don't. Ultra Crossman doesn't pull. It's a one v one situation, which kind of makes the Ultra Crossman fight not that bad, to be fair, because it is a one v one. So it's not as bad because I can just topsy turvy and be okay. Ah, uh, no, not really. Because, yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be fine. Because it's level 66. And I'm not necessarily meant to take a hit. Do I just go all out? No. I. So, I don't want Sophie to die. But I guess if it preserves or saves anything anyone else's life because I might as well uh. Okay. Oh, it's Balloon! Balloon is the final fight! Let's go! Oh, plus three speed Balloon, okay. That's, it, that's weird, but I'll take it. And I'm actually gonna, I don't think I need to topsy-turvy this. It doesn't necessarily help me very much. I'm just gonna Brutal Swing. Why not? Ooh, it's playing the sleep game. That's interesting. Okay, why Why does it wanna play the sleep game? Because... It is faster than me, so it doesn't necessarily matter. Oh boy. That's bad. Okay, so it has coverage on me. Oh, like, that's actually really not good at all. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go to Beta because you are ghost flying. Cross Trap does nothing. But playing that game is not fun. I don't want you to play that game. I'm gonna go ahead and discharge. Hopefully it is fine. Moon Guy's Beam. Ooh, that's a very powerful attack, but that is neutral. Or is that resistant? I think it's resistant, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh god, it's definitely neutral. With that amount of power, that's definitely neutral. Bulky, bulky tank totems. Those are the worst ones. Okay, I'm gonna discharge again. Honestly, that's the most powerful thing I can do. Um, and again, only a crit would kill, so... Nice. Discharge. Hopefully get the para. No. I, but we're okay. Because I do have my healing items and we're fine. Sadly, you did not be... You weren't an automatic legendary like you were supposed to. But I honestly think it's funnier that it's Balloon. Not gonna lie. Balloon's kind of a funny joke in Cage Lock. So, and we talked about Cage Lock in this episode. So, I think it's more hilarious that that's... It. Oh, that's Hyper Beam. Okay. I was like, oh god, what did you just use? Moon Guy's Beam, Hyper Beam. Interesting combination, but we'll take it because you have to recharge and we win. And there we are. Fit has also got a lot of HP. Nick's level 65. Everybody's level 65, which is totally fine because we have, like, so we've got fights upcoming. That will permit that. But yeah, I'm gonna try and skip as many trainers as I can. Only because. Let's see. So we got this episode. 
Next episode's Minas Trial. The Elite Four, or the Victory Road. And then the finale, yeah. Wow. My gosh. It's really that close. It's really Minas Trapu, or Minas Trial, Tapu Grand Trial. And then the Victory Road. All That's one episode. There's two episodes left of this. There's only two! The, what's funny is we made we made it through this faster than we made it through uh, the first playthrough. I mean, I guess it makes sense. But, like, way faster. It's, like, crazy how much of a difference it was. We have received Poipool, which is actually going to be... Oh, oh my gosh. I'm going to name this extreme. Because why not? <laughs> extreme, you have... Swift Swim and the Pixie Plate. Random ability, random, completely random moveset, but, like, it makes it pretty bad, but, you know, Pixie Plate's not back, so you can use that on a Pokemon. Um. But, yeah. So, now we do this. We probably have a, I think we have another, don't we have another fight that we have to tend to? <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Here, have these that allow you to catch Ultra Beast if you run into them 100% of the time. Blah. Oh my god, so many dots, so much dialogue. Do your best on your island challenge. Yeah, wait, nope. That they changed story here. Alola, I noticed that you're actually good at Pokemon. Did you know that I'm a trial captain? Are you ready to beat my trial? Are you ready to fight three important trainers in a row back to back to back to back? Are you? Are you ready to do that? Are you also ready for another totem? Are you also ready for these preliminal episode of the series? Well, if you are, then come check out the very next episode on your devices tomorrow. Hopefully y'all have a wonderful day. I can't believe that we're already here where we are in this game, but we will definitely see you guys tomorrow at one. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace.